Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dev Diary. If you've never heard of Ludum Dare, it's a regular event that challenges game creators to make something in 48 hours. Each event is based on a theme, which changes each time. The most recent event concluded not too long ago, and the theme was delivery. Now, I sadly never have time to participate in these, but they always seem to make for great ways to help improve myself as a creator. So that's what we are doing today. But before we get to the game, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We do all sorts of fun game dev stuff here every week, so turn on notifications to never miss another video. And with that said, let's see what I was able to get done in under 48 hours. So the game is called Buff Delivery, and it's broken up into two parts. Let's start with part one. In this physics-based experience, players must stack as many boxes as possible, or as many as they're comfortable with, upon the shoulders of our buff blue delivery person. Now, due to obvious time constraints, the physics are pretty much set to Game Maker's default physics settings. And taking inspiration from my previous attempt to remake Tricky Towers, as the player's tower of packages grows, the camera will pull out to keep the entire stack in view. And the best part is, this thing is technically infinite and will continue to zoom out and grow until something stops it. And this part of the game ends either when the player decides to, or a box falls into the void below. Now, why would the player want to stop prematurely? Well, let's get to part two. In part two, the player must deliver as many packages as they stacked in the previous part. So for example, if the player stacked three packages, they will have to deliver three packages. Now the layout of the stage is the same and never changes, but the locations the player must deliver to are random every time. And one of the more fun things to figure out for this project was that little indicator for the player's destination. If the location isn't on screen, the indicator will continue to point to it and will always remain on screen. And this is one of those things that seems so simple as a player, you know, but it really took some thinking to pull off as a developer. Anyway, if the player manages to deliver all their packages before time runs out, which is set to a minute, they are returned to the first part to repeat the process to increase their quote unquote score, aka their overall deliveries made. And if the player does not deliver all their packages on time, or manages to somehow fail to stack even one box on the first part, the game is reset and the player must start back at zero deliveries made. There is also a secondary fail state that can occur if the player is hit by a car. And a bit of text shows for each of these states as they occur including deliveries made to keep the player informed, though the overall delivery count isn't displayed until a fail state is reached. So yeah, that was about all I was able to get to in less than 48 hours. There was a lot more planned, but having to divide time between coding and doing the art made things a little dicey, especially considering I went with pixel art. It was far more time consuming because I'm a stickler for details, especially in pixel art. Now the entire fail portion of this project was meant to be far more fleshed out than simply a reset. In fact, the initial idea was to present a game about knowing your limits. For example, while your buff blue buddy may be capable of carrying 50 boxes, will you be able to deliver all of them in time? And each delivery would have earned the player some money, with any packages failed to deliver costing the player money, and that money could then be used to improve their experience. For example, purchasing some rollerblades to move faster, or a satchel to carry two boxes instead of just one. And the fail state would only occur if the player failed to stack even one box, or went too far into depth, or maybe getting hit by one too many cars. That, that much wasn't figured out. In other words, a lot of potential that I'm actually kinda here for. So keep an eye out because this may be one that we come back to and maybe even release it <laughs> given how close to completion it is. So my question to you is, would that be something you're interested in seeing? In fact, what did you think of this little game jam project in general? What else could we add to make the gameplay loop more interesting? Leave any and all thoughts in the comments. And speaking of releases, if you would like to play previously released games featured on the channel, or get early access to videos before they're released to the public, subscribe to my Patreon. And with that said brings us to the end of today's Dev Diary, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.